Hi there, welcome to my GMAT weekend course. I'm very excited to have you because I want to congratulate you on making the courageous decision to take this course. And this weekend, what we're going to do, and actually for the next couple weekends, we're going to go through all the theories, strategies, and processes for you to beat the GMAT and get a fantastic score. And I'm going to give you the confidence, I'm going to give you the tools, I'm going to give you the technique, and we're going to have a lot of fun. So I hope you enjoy this class. I hope you work hard. And if you have any questions, I'm here to support you, I'm here to challenge you, but most importantly, I'm here to make you fly. Because anyone can make, beat the GMAT, and I'm going to help you realize that goal. Thanks so much, and let's get to it. So hello guys, uh, my name is Kim, I'm taking the, the Bootcamp GMAT prep course with uh, Bob Yumar and uh, I've been master. It's been a great, great time, uh, I'm learning a lot, getting a lot of tips, and I'm sure I'm feeling more comfortable and confident about the GMAT, and I'll do great. Thanks. <laughs> we should go to the Hortica house. <laughs> this is awesome. So, who are your two BFFs in math? I will tell you right now. Your first one is your buddy Al. Al Jabra. Al Jabra. <laughs> Al Jabra, which means the awesome in Arabic. Anyone here speak Arabic? The awesome? Yeah, so it means, it means the awesome, right? I know it. Right? <laughs> yeah, thank you, Neville. Thank you, Neville. This is work with you, brother. Work with me. Okay. So algebra is one. Why is algebra your best friend? Because algebra is the language of math. It breaks down problems. It simplifies things. It translates things really, really beautifully. It unlocks keys to questions. And most importantly, the GMAT, if 25% 20, of questions are categorized as pure algebra questions, but nearly 65%, almost two-thirds of questions can be done using algebra. That's amazing. So if you know algebra, it is your best friend. From what I've seen in all the GMAT questions uh, out there, the most common setups are these three. Now, there's complications from those, but the three most common setups are this. The first one's called the meetup. You know, Alice goes this way, and Billy goes this way, at different speeds, at different times, when do they meet? Or how far did they travel before they met? That's called the meetup. See, A goes this way, B goes that way, when did they meet? Right here. What's the other The second setup is called the overtake. Alice goes this way at 30 miles per hour, Billy goes this way at 50 miles per hour, but leaves two hours later, when does he overtake Alice? The third setup is called the mixed method uh, or speeds approach. Alice goes this way at walking two miles per hour, she comes back the same way, this time she runs at five miles per hour, what's her average rate? Or how long did she travel? My objective here was to, number one, to cover the majority of the theory. So we covered probably 90% of the theory that's required, including all the advanced theory. Number two, to look at strategies for every single type of question. And number three, most important of all, for you to have a system or a game plan for any question. So at the end of this course, you should know, and we've already got, done this, for any question type, just about any question type, whether it's critical reasoning, sentence correction, reading comprehension, or whether it's functions, Venn diagrams, uh, geometry problems, we have a system, we have a game plan in place, so that no matter what question shows up, you know exactly what it's testing, you know exactly what strategy you have in your back pocket, and you know what kind of approach you can use. And if any question comes at you where you have no idea what to do, first off, don't worry about it, strategically guess and leave. But on top of that, you can go back and say, okay, you know what, next time, what, what is my strategy, what's my game plan? You should always have, for any question that shows up, you should know the theory, you should know what strategy you have in your back pocket, and you should always have an approach on how you're going to do the problem. If you don't, that's a problem. Because when you don't have that approach, and you don't know the theory, and you don't have a strategy, you will lack confidence. And confidence is doubt, and doubt leads to a moth to a flame. So, that's something to keep in mind. Ultimately, you have to answer five questions that they all want to know. They want to know, why do you want to do an MBA? Why do you want to do an MBA now? Why do you want to do an MBA here? Why should we pick you? And finally, will you succeed? And the last thing I want to make, I make, make clear is that anybody can beat the GMAT. The average person spends 150 hours studying for and being the GMAT. 
Now that could be as little as 75 hours, it could be as many as 225 hours, but anybody <coughs> can beat the GMAT. The GMAT is finite material based on grade 11 or earlier, which means you've all been there before, which means you all can beat it again. And like I said before, you have to have vision. The vision for where exactly do I want to be on GMAT day, where do I want to be on MBA day, where do I want to be post-MBA day. See that vision, believe that you can actually do this, it's good for your career, it's good for your life, it's good for what you want to do. Leverage the support that you need to be able to do. If you have the vision, the belief and support, you will then act on it. And if ever, anytime you get thrown off, you know, feeling, feeling the belief or feeling the support or feeling the action, go back to your vision and do the whole process again. And when you do that, my friends, you will have success. That's how you beat the GMAC. I believe I can do it now. <laughs> need to put in a lot of hard work, but the whole teaching style and the class environment was really encouraging. Hi, Bob Umar here from Admit Master. I hope you guys come check out our course. You know what? GMAT is something that anybody can beat, and we can help you get the best score possible. You want a 700 score? We can help you get there. And you know, once you take our course, you'll see that GMAT is something that's going to give you confidence. It's something that is a challenge that you can overcome, and we're going to have fun with it. It isn't overcoming a challenge fun. So come join us, have fun with us, learn all you can in strategies and theories, and learn to beat the GMAT. Thanks so much. If you want to ace your GMAT and get above what you want, like 700, you got to come to this class, Admin Master.